I'm making a video about a motherboard. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Deja Vu Seekers. Today we're checking out the MSI X570S Torpedo Max. Wait, no, that's not what we're checking out at all. We're checking out the X570S Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. These boards are very, very similar. And if you saw our last video, you'd probably know that. So yeah, I guess we should just jump in and quit rambling. If you're new here and you haven't seen a Gear Seekers motherboard video before, these videos aren't reviews, they're just overviews. So we can see what comes in these things here, the boxes for the motherboards and what's on the board physically itself. Let's dive in. All right, let's take a look at the MAG X570S Tomahawk Wi-Fi. But first of all, we need to get the motherboard out of the box so we can take a closer look at all the things. Who keeps putting these in these boxes? Seriously, this is not a joke anymore. Anyway, let's get that motherboard out of the way so we can take a closer look at everything that comes with this board. And spoiler alert, there's not a whole lot. First box inside of the box is some Wi-Fi antennas for the built-in Wi-Fi 6. That's right, there's built-in Wi-Fi. This is what makes this different to the Torpedo version of the board. Next up is a set of SATA or SATA cables for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rush drives. There's also a set of screws and standoffs for the built-in M.2 slots on this board. There are two slots in total. It seems like MSI has been listening to my ranting and raving for such a long time about CDs and DVDs of the drivers because now they include a USB stick with everything you need to get up and running. Much, much better. Okay, there's also some documentation. All this stuff is basically just a few pamphlets outlining all of the stuff that you can buy from MSI. Pretty standard stuff in a motherboard box. There's also the quick installation guide. Now this is pretty handy. This helps you socket the CPU if you've never done before. And it can also be as a bit of a reference. It shows other sockets as well. So not just AM4. Next up, we've got this awesome sticker. Now this is the best mod you can make to your PC ever. It gives you 4 billion extra frames per second at 16K in Fortnite. Not really, it's just a joke guys. There's also some stickers you can add to the IO cover on the board for the battery as well. And just anywhere else on your board. Uh, MSI has been including these for about a year now for their motherboards. There's also the user guide. Now this is handy. It helps you figure out where everything is on the board, what everything is on the board and how to get started with tweaking some things in the BIOS. Okay, enough of that. Seriously, this is not even funny anymore. Whoever's putting these in these motherboards just needs to stop. Anyway, let's take a close look at the board. First up, we've got the front panel audio header. Then there's a four pin 12 volt RGB header. There's a TPM 2.0 header, which you don't need for Windows 11. It's built into the CPU, guys. There's two PWM fan connectors. There's also a serial port header, two USB 2.0 headers a little bit further up. There's a USB 3.0 header. And then there's the front panel header for all your lights and all your switches to let you know your system is up and running. And behind that front panel header is a three pin five volt addressable RGB header and an RGB switch to turn all the lighting off because that's now a feature. There's also a right angled USB 3.0 header. There's six SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. There's a USB type C front panel header. There's the 24 pin power connector to send juice to your brand new X570S Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. There's also a diagnostic postcode LED array and three PWM fan connectors. On the top right hand side of the board, there's a three pin five volt addressable RGB header, another four pin 12 volt RGB header and another PWM fan header. There is a single 8-pin EPS power connector and a supplementary 4-pin EPS power connector on the top left-hand side of the board. There's two full-sized by 16 slots. The top slot is wired by 16. The bottom slot, well, rather the middle slot is wired by 8. And there's also two by 1 slots in there as well. This board features the X570S chipset, which is the same as the regular X570 chipset. However, now it is passively cooled. You heard right, there's no more chipset fans. 
Much like the X570S Torpedo, this also features the same 12 plus 2 phase digital VRM setup as well. It's got quite substantial cooling for the VRM cooling on this board. There's a big chunky heatsink at the top and the whole IO cover is also a heatsink for the VRM. This board features a standard AM4 socket with support for Ryzen 2000, 3000, Ryzen 4000 APUs, Ryzen 5000 and Ryzen 5000 APUs right out of the gate. If we flip the board over, you can see that it has all of the keep out zones marked on the back of the board. This is actually quite a good move from MSI. I think most boards should have this if the back of the board is fully exposed. This board supports up to 128 gigs of DDR4 memory, overclockable up to 5100 megahertz. All right, let's pull off the heat sinks for the M.2 slots on this board. This board features two PCIe Gen 4 M.2 slots. Basically everything on this board is PCIe Gen 4 because it's an X570 board. Now if we look at the rear I.O. you'll notice there's a PS2 port, some USB 2.0 ports, antenna connectors for the built-in Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.0. There's some more USB ports, there's an HDMI port. Now this supports HDMI 2.1 with Ryzen 5000 APUs. There's some more USB, USB Type-C, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and 7.1 digital surround sound with an optical and SPDIF output, as well as that integrated I.O. shield. Two motherboard boxes, wow! I'm so clever, that's the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that first look and overview of the Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. Some of you actually picked up that I titled the video wrong in the beginning. I blame Claire. She does the video titling. What? No, I don't. <laughs> it was all me. No, because we had both of them. And I was really? like, yeah, and I was like, oh, which one's which? You know, and I just Blame did the title Claire. on YouTube. And then some a couple people were like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, relax, guys. I'm a human. I sometimes make mistakes. <laughs> Apparently Claire makes mistakes. Claire always makes mistakes. Right, the MAG X570S Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. What's the deal with this board? I have no idea. We've had lots of people saying that they haven't been able to buy them. That doesn't surprise me given the world that we live in right now. And a lot of online retailers just don't have these listed and don't have prices. Although it's kind of one of those things where I'm not sure if these boards are real or not. Does that make sense? In terms of this board compared to the Torpedo, the main difference here with this board is one extra heat sink on the M.2 on the bottom slot and it's got Wi-Fi. Other than that, yeah, they're basically the same. Mm. That, it it kind of makes me curious in a way too because I don't know what the pricing is for either of these boards and it having Wi-Fi will affect the pricing a small bit but I wonder how big that gap will be between these two boards. I don't know. It's anybody's guess. And by the time I even release this video, this information could be completely redundant. And if you're watching this video in like six months time, this information is also redundant. So just forget everything that I've just said. The board is available whenever it is that you're searching for this video. You gave me that look like, what are you talking about today? Well, this is our second video that I filmed for the day. That's what I'm talking about. Is that it? Are we done? Why am I vibrating? Oh, it's your mum. She wants to meet up later. We've had comments about people thinking all kinds of wacky things lately. We've been in lockdown for eight weeks. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> That's all it is. I'm quite literally losing my mind. <laughs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, stick around for some B-roll because that's what we do. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek. I'll put some links and all that jazz in the description for this board so you can check it out at your own leisure. Don't mess up the title.